It has come to the notice of the management of Bank of Industry, BOI, that some unscrupulous persons are defrauding the general public by claiming to be the bank's agents. BOI insists that it does not engage persons or organizations as its agent to sell application forms or receive completed loan applications on its behalf. If you are a genuine entrepreneur and prospective customer, please freely walk into any of BOI's donor offices nearest to you and obtain the application forms and list of requirements for accessing loans directly free of all charges. You can also visit our website and social media platforms for other details. For more information, call our head office in Lagos, 01271-5070-299 or Abuja Corporate Office, 080-7399-0022, www.boinigeria.com. Hello, good evening, and welcome to another edition of Wealth Creation Through Industrialization. I am Hadiza Olao Shebikum. On the 19th of May 2014, Mr. Rashid Olao Lua assumed office as the third managing director and chief executive officer of the Bank of Industry. After almost two months on the saddle, business editors and correspondents were invited to the bank's headquarters in Lagos for a media briefing where Mr. Olaolua unveiled his vision for the Bank of Industry, which he optimistically asserted would transform BOI to a world-class development financial institution. He was quick to point out that no meaningful development can take place without communication as well as active stakeholder engagement and strong collaboration with vital development partners, including the media. Here are highlights of Mr. Olaolua's interactive session with the media. At the first meeting with the management of the bank, the managing director and chief executive officer of the Bank of Industry, Mr. Rashid Olaolua, urged the management team to work together as one in the development of the country through the bank's efforts in job and wealth creation. It's a pleasure to be here to join you guys. It's also a privilege, a very special privilege, uh, because I believe that we are on a very important national assignment. Uh, our country is faced with a, a number of challenges in terms of industrialization, in terms of you know, promoting small and medium enterprises, in terms of creating employment for our large and growing populace. So I think for us to make progress, we need to implement better and we also need to coordinate ourselves. So, and it's, it's actually something that will go beyond Bank of Industry. Of course, Bank of Industry will you know, bring the financing perspective, but several arms of government will have to play a role in this. I've come with an open mind, gentlemen. I want us to all keep an open mind. Uh, I, I think we need to take Bank of Industry from where it is to the next level. Uh, I think that's, that's the only thing I can commit you know, to you guys. And I'm soliciting uh, all your support. Um, I can't do it alone. Nobody here can do it alone. Uh, no single agency can do it alone. What's important is we need to have collaboration. We need to have teamwork. We must support one another. At the highly attended interactive session with business editors and correspondents in Lagos, the MD of BOI, Mr. Rashid Olaolua, alongside other management staff of BOI for the first time, met with the media to unveil his vision, goals and strategy on how he hopes to reposition the bank in line with global best practices. Since my assumption of duties at BOI on the 19th of May 2014, as the Managing Director, CEO of the bank, I've engaged with several other stakeholders in our development finance journey. These include, just to mention a few, organizations such as Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, MAN, the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, UNIDO, 
the African Development Bank, ADB, and the Association of Nigeria uh, Chambers of Commerce, Industry, Mines, and Agriculture, NASIMA. The transformation agenda of Mr. President, part of which deals with the employment generation and wealth creation, is a major focal point of our efforts at the Bank of Industry. As you are aware, our supervising Honorable Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Dr. Olusegun Aganga, is leading the efforts very actively to industrialize Nigeria and to create millions of jobs in the process. At BOI, we are very passionate about these objectives. Thereafter, he outlined a roadmap for a development agenda of the bank. In the recent past, the Bank of Industry was very instrumental in the management of the following funds. One, CBN's intervention funds, which is comprised of a 235 billion Naira SME restructuring and refinance fund, as well as a 300 billion Naira power and aviation intervention fund. Two, various funds put together by the Federal Ministry of Agriculture for the development of cassava bread, rice, food security, sugar, and so on and so forth. And thirdly, SME matching funds by 18 states of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. These funds have enabled BOI to grant total loans to the tune of 672 billion Naira to date, both directly and through the intervention funds, creating close to a million jobs in the process. While stressing that under his watch, BOI will make impactful contributions to the National Enterprise Development Program, NEDEP, and the Nigerian Industrial Revolution Plan, NIRP. These are the two laudable programs launched by President Goodluck Abela Jonathan earlier this year to fast track the country's industrialization drive. The transformation of BOI has become a national strategic imperative, especially in view of the National Industrial Revolution Plan. NIRP, and the National Enterprise Development Program, NEDEP, launched recently by President Goodluck Ebele Jonathan, GCFR. Consequently, we are exploring alternative means of funding, such as the following. One, continuation of sector-specific intervention funds by the Central Bank of Nigeria, by the Ministry of Agri and the Federal Ministry of Solid Mineral Resources, and so on. Two, manage funds from various state governments and HNIs, high net worth individuals. An example that I can give to you is the fund we have from Dangote uh, Foundation, uh, which is uh, to the tune of 5 billion uh, Naira to support SMEs in Nigeria. Number three, we will also explore the possibility of raising long-term loans at very low interest rates from multilateral through international development institutions. And at the moment, I can say to you that we are in discussion that's very advanced with the African Development Bank. Number four, we will also explore the possibility of raising domestic and international bonds. And number five, other sustainable annuity sources that may become statutorily imperative in the medium to long term. In order for us to execute the foregoing funding program successfully, we must adopt global best practices in the management of BOI. One, good corporate governance. Two, sharp focus on our core mandate. Three, sound risk management and compliance. Four, venture capital investment and co-funding. Five, partnerships and collaborations. Six, customer service and responsiveness. And seven, linkages between innovation centers and industry. 
He didn't just stop at that. He ever sought the support of all in this new development drive for the bank. Financing our country's development agenda is a huge task. We do not claim to have all the answers. We believe that there are many Nigerians out there with very creative ideas that BOI can ex explore. To this end, we have created a contact email address, ideas at boinigeria.com. We welcome submissions, no more than two pages, from all Nigerians who have development at heart. We undertake to consider all the ideas and act on those considered feasible. Ladies and gentlemen, the foregoing steps are specific, actionable, and achievable. They have been designed as part of our efforts to transform the Bank of Industry into a world-class, highly rated development finance institution that is ever ready to meet the needs of every Nigerian, especially the small and medium enterprises. We shall keep you abreast of the key developments, events, and milestones along the journey from time to time. After delivering his speech, he entertained questions from members of the press. We've been in, the, in the commercial banking and what have you, and now you are now in development uh, banking. What specifically are you bringing on board? In the course of the last 26 years, I have interacted with several sectors, uh, both in Nigeria and outside Nigeria. Uh, I have interacted with development finance institutions in locally and internationally. And what is critical at this level is the understanding of the issues. And the issues are very clear to me. There is always a development agenda that supports, you know, the provision of long-term low interest rates to industry, to small-scale enterprises, small-scale industries, with a view to helping to industrialize the, the economy and also to help in creating jobs. Uh, the issues are the same you know, everywhere. And I believe that combination of all the experiences I've gathered over the last 26 and a half years, you know, will stand me in good stead. You know, at BOI. You, you said that uh, BOI will need five billion dollars within the next two years. Uh, what will be your strategic focus in respect of the disbursement? At least, maybe the sector analysis uh, for the disbursement profile. Um, the five billion that I mentioned is an estimate, and um, sector focus. There is a national industrial revolution plan which has identified four key sectors in which Nigeria has a comparative advantage. The first sector is the agri agro allied agro processing sector, uh, whereby we're looking at you know not just exporting you know um, crops you know from the, from out of the farms, but actually adding value locally. You know, processing those crops, you know, before before we export them or consume them locally. The second sector is um, oil and gas and energy. Uh, we, I think we all agree that that's a very important sector to Nigeria. Uh, we derive a lot of revenue from there. I think what is important is the value adding to the oil sector activity in Nigeria is very low. And what we're trying to do under the NRFP is to ensure that there is a lot of value added. So, for instance, we're going to be encouraging petrochemical industries, fertilizer industries, etc., so that, you know, that value addition can happen. Also, in terms of energy, you know, gas infrastructure investment will be encouraged. Uh, this was one of the areas I, when I met with the governor of the central bank, this was one of the areas we discussed. Uh, we, there's going to be a lot of emphasis on gas infrastructure. So these are the key, key
key sectors that have been identified. But in addition to those broad industrial sectors, you know, SMEs, you know, were also addressed under the National Enterprise Development Program. And the studies have shown that SMEs contribute more than, I mean, they account for 90% in terms of employment generation, and um, we must find a way to, to really crack that settle. I mean, there has been a lot of talk in the past uh, by various stakeholders. I think what we need to do is to ensure that we have concrete action steps, you know, towards it. And I think, I think that's what the NEDEP is trying to, to address. What uh, impacts do you want to make in that sector? Because a lot of people will be looking at you, want to support the manufacturers and then other stakeholders that they want to get involved. Do you have a, a, a strategic plan for the auto policy? What we're trying to do as a development bank is we, we, we try as much as possible not to compete with commercial banks. Okay, so we look at long-term industrial facilities, projects, you know. Uh, but if you're going to take a car loan for three, four years, um, you and I know that in Nigeria today, banks are doing very well as far as car loans are concerned. So we don't, we don't want to compete with them on that. Now, what, what, what is the nature of our strategic intervention in the auto industry? Now, there are, there are companies that are looking at uh, local assembly, there are companies that are looking at uh, manufacturing the components, the vehicle components, you know, locally rather than importing them. Uh, there are companies that will, for, for instance, in, you know, manufacture the the car seats, upholstery, and other you know, plastic like batteries and all that. So these these are people that we are this, in discussion with. We can finance the local manufacturing of some of the car components, and this, this is the intervention that we're looking at. I know we're into partnership recently with you, you know. mm -hmm. I want to know how far is it, does it have anything to do with job creation? I want to know how far you have come with this like, partnership. The second one, we're talking about the issue of unemployment, which is a major problem in Nigeria. I know you have given us some of the steps you want to take, but we want to know what are the major steps that you want to focus on? to make sure that at least the African, African Nigeria benefit from all these uh, programs that we have on job creation. Uh, they've, they've engaged with us on a number of sectors. So what they do is they, 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 uh, their intervention is sector specific. So they can say, okay, in, this, in the textile sector, we are doing a study and we've realized that these are the issues. If you do it this way, you know, you can do better and so on and so forth. And then if you follow through, hopefully you'll get results. Uh, recently, um, they partner with Nigeria on industrialization. Um, their inputs went into the National Industrial Revolution Plan. And in fact, they have shortlisted uh, just two countries in Africa you know, for a pilot uh, office in terms of they, they want to open um, two offices in Africa uh, for uh, investment promotion, industrial investment promotion office, and they've chosen Nigeria and Ethiopia. Okay, so this is just to highlight, you know, how close the the the, 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 the partnership is and how active it has become. They are, so they are looking at a lot of agricultural sectors. They're looking at industry. They're looking at how to link, you know, agri to industry. They're looking at how to link innovation to industry, and so on and so forth. The privilege of interacting with a lot of uh, of your clients, bank of industry clients, and sometimes we go to their premises. We want to record them um, doing their production, and there's no power. So the truth is, the bank of industry does not have a direct control over power, but it affects, you know, your clients. So I like to know if you're going to focus on this, because if you give them the money or you buy them equipment and they don't have power to produce, then at the end of the day, they can't even pay back the loans. So I'd like to know what you want to do along this line. About the power, uh, it's, a major, it's a major challenge. And, and uh, when I attended the, the meeting of the Presidential Advisory Committee, we actually received, we, we took a presentation from the Minister of Power you know, just to explain to her what is going on in that area. Uh, we also took a presentation from the 
uh, ED for gas in NNPC, essentially to tell us what are the um, efforts currently being made to ensure that uh, gas infrastructure is developed and to be able to de you know, deliver gas you know, to the power plants that really need them to be able to generate power. Uh, so these are issues that, you know, that are receiving attention. And I'm very optimistic, I'm very confident that uh, in a matter of a year or two, you know, perhaps we, we should begin to worry less about power. Thank you very much. How would you look at the issue of research, marketing, and creating a linkage for value addition? Because sometimes we discover that most of these people don't package their goods very well, and they don't have uh, technology, and we don't have so many people in that sector. That's that's a very that's a very good question, um, and, and I think you, you've combined two issues. Let me just separate them. Uh, first, in terms of innovation, you know, um, what, what we are planning to do is to um, explore linkages between centers of innovation and industry. So for instance, we have a lot of research institutes. You know, there's FIRO, there's Raw Materials Research Institute, there's uh, IITA, there's a lot of them. And they have a lot of things that they have been able to, you know, uh, establish as ways in which we can move from raw agri-products into processed food, you know, processed items for exports. We would like to explore the possibility of um, uh, uh, supporting um, the, the, the linkage of those research centers into, into industry. That's number one. Number two is um, in terms of um, uh, what, what we mentioned, we're looking at a, an annual innovation fair or summit where people will actually come and present their new ideas and people from industry will also come there to listen and see which one can we explore in our industry, etc. Thirdly, uh, we're working with uh, Unido on quality uh, because, again, we're, we're, pr we're trying to encourage our customers to explore the export market. Okay? And if your product is substandard, you're not likely to make any headway in the international market. So they are also working with us to encourage our factories, you know, to just go up one notch in terms of the quality of the output. And these are these are very critical areas. So quality of the quality standards, you know, is very important. Although the media briefing was short, all those present attested to the fact that Mr. Olaolua has all it takes in ensuring that BOI becomes a world-class financial institution in time to come. Welcome back. I'm sure you will agree with me after watching and listening to Mr. Olaolua's highly impressive address and the subsequent vibrant question and answer session that Nigeria's quest to be amongst the top industrialized nations is achievable sooner than later. He assured entrepreneurs, especially SMEs, of the bank's total support under his leadership. Why not visit any of BOI's offices across the country for details on how you can be assisted by the bank? You could also reach us by phone, email, or through the social media. BOI's contact details are displayed on your screens. Good evening and have an enterprising week. I am Hadiza Olao Shibiko. Bye for now.